Understanding the Nuances of Sorrow. Hey there, welcome to another interesting session where we will delve deep into the English language. Today's topic is a word that holds a lot of emotion and depth, sorrow. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of its meaning, its uses, and the feelings associated with it. Sorrow is a noun that refers to a feeling of deep distress or sadness caused by a loss, disappointment, or other misfortune suffered by oneself or others. It's more than just momentary sadness. It's a profound, enduring feeling often accompanied by regret or heartache. Example, the sorrow she felt after losing her pet was immense. It's essential to know some words that convey similar emotions to sorrow. Some common synonyms include grief, heartache, misery, woe, desolation. By knowing these words, you can better express various shades of sadness in different contexts. Understanding a word is often easier when we see it in context. Here are some examples. 1. Her eyes were filled with sorrow after hearing the tragic news. 2. Many songs are written about love and sorrow. 3. There's no point in dwelling in sorrow. Instead, we should look for hope. While both sorrow and sadness refer to unhappy emotions, there are nuanced differences. Sadness is a general feeling of unhappiness which can be temporary and triggered by minor incidents. Sorrow, on the other hand, is more profound and long-lasting, often linked to a significant loss or disappointment. Example, he felt sadness when his favorite team lost, but the sorrow he experienced after his best friend moved away was far deeper. And there you have it. Sorrow is not just a word. It's an emotion that speaks of deep sadness and distress. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about expressing feelings and experiences. We hope this video shed light on the meaning and use of the word sorrow. Keep exploring and we'll be back with more exciting topics. Stay curious.